Again? What can you make, sir? Introducing our contestants. Pirate author. Baby doll. And Robert again. To begin the first round, we have This Means War. Household hints. I doubt it. What's for lunch? Game shows. Spelling. Exploration. I've never had that happen before, so I don't know. Player two, pick a category. Yeah, that's player three. It's your turn to choose a category. Uh, it's the twelfth letter of the Greek alphabet. That's correct. Player one, please select a category. LeBron James is an executive producer on this series where a green ball can be worth as much as $1 million. That's not correct. Well, I have an idea, but, um... That's not what we were going for. Okay. Correct. There's the wall. Player three. What is the Pick wall? Pick a category. Not domestic like a French theater. No, that's incorrect. Oh. It was the bottom one. Incorrect. Yeah, that. No! What? Should have been the bottom one. You oh, are maybe correct. it's the bottom one on my screen. I swear that's what you just picked! There are Georgian and Julian versions of this chart. You are right. Calendar. Player one, please select a category. On this cable channel, contestants reach out and touch an answer on idiot test. You pressed the button too soon. Yes, correct. This game show network. He went from late, late to early, early winning daytime Emmys for Celebrity Name Game. No, it's not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's not Jim. Sadly, that's not it. Well done. Craig Ferguson. Who is Craig Ferguson? Player three, it's your turn to choose a category. A non professional Bobby Jones was one in golf. Oh, oh, oh. Amateur.
Observe the following image. We're having the Italian dish scene here, a favorite of this comic strip pet created in 1978. Really? Created the same year I was, huh? That's right. Well, I'm born the same year I was. I was created in 1977, I'm sure. <laughs> Daily Double. How much money are you wagering? Uh, Garfield and lasagna was the answer. <laughs> For a meatless option, try a portobello sandwich. The portobello being a type of this food. Uh, I'm sorry. No. no. Mushroom. I'm sorry, I was thinking portable sandwich for some reason. Pretend it's Friday and lunch on the New England style of this soup. Well done. Clam chowder. What is clam chowder? Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. Chicken and side dishes come together in a famous bowl at this restaurant. Was K That's it. KFC. And it makes me toss my cookies. This sandwich of fried chickpea balls and tahini sauce served in a pita is a Middle Eastern specialty. <laughs> yes. Was a falafel. Player two. Please select a category. Adding this grain to a salt shaker does two things. Knocks apart salt lumps during shaking and absorbs moisture so the salt won't clump. That's right. What is rice? Get lipstick out of a washable clothing. I mean, out of washable clothing. Dab the stain with the isopropyl type of That's this. That's not what we were going for. No, that's incorrect. Is you are right. Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. Heloise says to put shower curtains in here to eliminate grime. That is not correct. Precisely. The washing machine. Keep pieces of this in special flannel bags that are infused with a preventative to stop the pieces from tarnishing. Indeed. With silver. Okay. Player two, which category would you like? For spots on this soft leather blot with white vinegar and use a shoe brush to rework the nap. Yes, correct. What is suede? This Florida Explorer was part of the crew on Columbus's second voyage. You are correct. Was Ponce de Leon. Player three, it's your turn to choose a category. In 1769, this British captain charted the coast of Tahiti and then set sail for New Zealand. 
Yes. Who is James Cook? When Henry Hudson entered Hudson Bay, he mistakenly thought he had found this route. Exactly. Was the North North Wet Passage? Player two. Please select a category. Lewis and Clark began their expedition on May 14th. 1804 by traveling up this river on a killboat. That's right. Was Missouri River. Mac 10 warriors killed this explorer, spoiling his circumnavigation of the world. Incorrect. You are correct. Who is Ferdinand Magellan? Player one, pick a category. In this US war, it was the Yanks versus the Confederates. <laughs> no, that's incorrect. Oh, Sorry, no. but that's incorrect. <laughs> it's the <a> Civil War. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> Player three, please select a category. This future American state declared its independence in 1836 during a war with Mexico. No, sorry. Hi. Uh. Yes. Was Texas? I didn't know Texas had Player issues one. with Mexico. It's your turn to choose a category. Oh, okay. The Hundred Years' War taking place from 1337 to 1453 was fought between England and this country. Indeed. Was France. Player three, pick a category. During the U.S. Revolutionary War, volunteers ready to fight with 60 seconds notice were called these. You are what right. Our Minutemen. Last clue. Lasting from 1957 to 1975, it's the longest war in which the U.S. has taken part. Sorry, but that's incorrect. It's one that MASH was in. Precisely. It was a Vietnam War. Here are the scores. Was that the one that MASH the was in? Jeopardy round, the categories are... <laughs> Rodents. Oh, okay, I mesh was Korea. <laughs> French class. Pop hits. Companies named for people. People who play. Ologies. Look at the following image. The birds seen here are in the title of a 1984 number one hit by this artist. Exactly. Who is Prince? Player two. It's your turn to choose a category. Observe the following image. The singer was all about the instrument seen here in the title of a 2014 number one hit. Well done. 
who is Megan Trainer. Look at the following image. No more counting dollars. We'll be counting the items seen here in a hit by this band. That's not correct. Dang it. It was the other one, wasn't it? It was my other choice. <laughs> no, sorry. That's right, I just guessed. You silly. Oh, well, I did. Precisely. One Republic. Okay, so it wasn't the other one. <laughs> Player three, pick a category. Some of the quills of the Eurasian species of this rodent can be 12 inches, equal to about half of its body length. Correct. What's a porcupine? Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. Contrary to popular belief, mass drownings by the Norway species of this rodent are not suicidal in nature. Lemmings. Indeed. What are lemmings? Player two, please select a category. It's a daily double. How much do you want to wager? Observe the following image. The item seen here can make an explosion in the lyrics of this 2015 hit by Rachel Platten. Sorry, but that's incorrect. Fight song. Look at the following image. In a 2013 hit by one hit wonder, Elvis, the animal scene here makes a sound. I don't remember. That's correct. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. Launched in 2003, this auto company is named for inventor Nicola. Nicola! That just sounded... <laughs> yes, correct. Why is Tesla? It just sounded like some idiot saying, you know. <laughs> I like their name. During World War I, the U.S. government confiscated the assets of this German aspirin company and sold off the name. You are right. Was Bear. Player three, pick a category. These rodents of the planes received their name because they bark like canines. Correct. What are prairie dogs? Player two, please select a category. This South American herbivore is the world's largest rodent. I don't remember. That's it. It was a capybara. I don't know, it was a rodent. I wonder if uh, Dream Lake Valley knows that's a rodent. Spaniards named these furry rodents for the Chincha tribe. Precisely. What are chinchillas? In 2002, the company named for this movie maker spun off its THX division. Well done. What is George Lucas? Player three. It's your turn to choose a category. Okay. In your house, what the French call la cuisine, we call this room. No, that's incorrect. Steph, answer the kitchen. 
Unless you want to answer That's the other That's it. One. What is the kitchen? Player two. I'm sorry. Which I usually category let you guys would you like? Figure it out for yourselves. Even some French think this meal petite de junior. I just said that wrong. Is the most important of the day. Precisely. Breakfast. Daily double. How much would you like to wager? You've got 9,090. If you approach the signal called Ferrouge on a French road, you better do this. I'm guessing stop. That is not correct. Open a French date book and you might see Genvier and Evril names of these. January and April. That's it. Yes. One of these sensory organs is Loil. I have no idea how to say that. In French, both of them are called less correct. Yeah, sure, eyes. <laughs> uh in twenty twenty three, brothers Henry Heil and Herman Hasenfeld founded what would become this toy company. That's not correct. That's it. Where's Hasbro? Player one, pick a category. A New York bank was named for the Secretary of the Treasury under Lincoln. I don't remember his name. Oh, um. I'm sorry, no. Wrong. Okay, it was the guy with a bigger name. Yes. Player three, which category would you like? It shouldn't surprise you that nosology is the study of this body part. Precisely. Player two, pick a category. Traditionally, biology is divided into two major fields, botany and the study of animals. Yes, correct. Yeah, with zoology. That should have made sense. It's the science dealing with the relationship between organisms and their environment. Mm. Sorry, but that's incorrect. Uh, and that's genealogy. Um. Incorrect. Fine. The other one. Um. Uh, Genealogy is the study of where we came from. Exactly. Okay, ecology. Player three, which category would you like? Margaret Mead, who studied how culture affects human behavior, had a PhD in this from Columbia University. Indeed. Anthropology. Player two, it's your turn to choose a category. From the Greek for growing in, it studies the development of organisms in their earliest stages before birth. 
Yes, correct. Embryology, okay. Take a look at this clip. Ryan Gosling and Britney Spears used to play the game seen here as kids. If Ryan landed on Britney, she got one of these. You are correct. It is a kiss. Yeah, you spin the bottle and you kiss the girl. Observe that... the following image. I mean, if you're a guy, I mean, you're. you're... Michael Balzari of the Red Hot Chili Peppers uses this nickname when he plays the instrument. I'm singer. sorry, no. So it's not sludge. Oh. Exactly. Was flea. Player one. Pick What's a category. Name? Look at the following image. First time this actor appears on screen in Dr. No, the first James Bond movie, he is playing the game scene here. Yes. And his name is, who is Sean Connery? <laughs> I think I've seen I'm Dr. The no a image. total of one time. For a 2014 album, this funny man played the instrument scene here in a medley that included songs by Draft Punk and... Macklemore. Hey, I pressed the button right after it. No, it's no. not. <laughs> His name is Weird Al. You Gangvin. are correct. <laughs> Here is the last clue. Watch this. This actor starred as Peter in a movie about the game scene here. Oh, I don't remember who played Peter. Well done. Apparently, I do. The only actor Everyone I can remember was in the Final Jeopardy. Vince Vaughn. How much money are you wagering? Number one pop hits. A 1987 remake of this 1959 hit was the first song with all Spanish lyrics to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100. That's right. Where's La Bamba? That's not correct. I don't think the Bumba did Sorry, have all. Sorry, but that's incorrect. I was about to go for Philly Sophie Todd. <laughs> I really was. Here are the final placements. She still won. In second place, 